Welcome to the 2011 IBS Best of Show. I'm Paul Cardis, producer of AvidBuilder.com, the industry's number one resource for in-depth reporting of the leading housing trends. In this segment, we'll take you to Orlando, Florida, the site of this year's International Builders Show, to present you the top 10 most intriguing products in housing. Our team, led by industry veteran Bill Lurs, scoured the show floor seeking the best products. He was joined by consultants Clark Ellis, principal of the Continuum Group, and Jason Forrest of J. Forrest Group to research hundreds of booths to find the very best. The team uncovered smog eating roof tiles, the likely replacement to the common nail, computerized sales software that amazes, and two solar technologies that are sure to revolutionize the housing industry, plus so much more. Hi, I'm Bill Lurz of AvidBuilder.com. I'm here at the International Builder Show in Orlando with consultant Clark Ellis, principal of Continuum. Clark turned us on to a, a very innovative new product, which is uh, Boral Roofing's Smog Eating Tile. You want to tell us a little bit more about it, Clark? Thanks, Bill. Thanks for having me. Um, I'm really interested in this new product, and I think I'd like to jump right in by asking you, John, can you help us understand how it works? Sure I can. First of all, I have to explain a little bit about how smog is formed. Smog is formed by the combination of nitrogen oxides in the atmosphere and volatile organic compounds, VOCs, in the action of sunlight. Now, this tile actually neutralizes the nitrogen oxides, and it does this by using a photocatalyst, which is embedded in the surface of the tile. Being a catalyst, it is charged by the UV light that you get from general sunlight. And because it's a catalyst, it doesn't wear out. So nitrogen oxides are produced from uh, all fossil fuel burning processes, which is probably 50% of it coming from automotive applications, 25 from power stations, 25 from industrial. So all of these, these burning processes are producing these nitrogen oxides. As that flows across the surface of the tile, the catalyst actually breaks this down so that the nitrogen oxide cannot combine with these VOCs and form this photochemical smog. That sounds extremely interesting. Now, uh, can you help me understand how your customers have viewed this product and what they're viewing as the benefits? The, the benefits of the product uh, clearly is that it's able to mitigate some of the poor air quality that we have in some of our larger cities. The uh, American Lung Association published a report recently that, that catalogued the 10 worst polluted areas. Actually quite a lot of these in California, but it extended to Houston and some also on the East Coast in Georgia and the Carolinas. So in these sort of environments, okay, we're reducing the amount of pollutants that we're creating, but it still exceeds the EPA maximum for the air quality. So if we can mitigate the amount of nitrogen oxide in the atmosphere, we can actually cut the formation of smog, which is going to improve the environment. Now, builders latch onto this and say, wow, this is a fantastic product. This is going to really help us sell our homes. So we've got very, very good response from the major builders on this. Can you get uh, credits from any government agency for having this tile on your roof? Right now, there are no credits, and this is because, of course, it's a new and innovative product. If the product uh, has been around for some while, then people take notice and see how that can improve the environment. So as we're the first tile producer in the country to produce this technology, then of course uh, the credits will catch up with us, I'm sure. Is there anything about this product that would cause a home builder or a roofing contractor to have to do anything different you know, in the installation process or in how they, how they interact with the material? No, none at all. It's, uh, it's a regular product. And uh, the photocatalyst which is used in the surface of the, uh, the product is regularly used actually in cosmetics, toothpaste, and even uh, they use it to paint the wall of operating theatres to, um, uh, to cut down on, uh, on uh, pollution there. So this is uh, a very friendly material. Um, and it combines really with the sustainability of our product, which is made entirely of mineral materials. Uh, at the end of its long life, we warrant our product for the lifetime of the structure. At the end of its long life, it can be crushed, it can be reused as aggregate, um, or in, in uh, the uh, base for roads or, or, or new slabs for new homes. 
Outstanding. Uh, what kind of feedback uh, can you give us on any kind of cost differences that would be associated with the product compared to a typical tile roof? I can. The um, material that we use is actually more expensive than the regular tile uh, solutions. So in fact, um, uh, with a maybe a 2,000, 2,500 square foot home, it's going to raise the, um, the cost of the materials for that home by let's say $750, uh, and maybe at the top end of the range, $1,000. On the price of a home, um, this isn't a lot when you consider the amount of pollution that we can actually mitigate with this solution. And exactly how much would that be for, for one house? How, how much uh, mitigation would occur? Well, the, the test that we've done on the material in the laboratory show that if we have a 2,000 square foot home, it's able to neutralize the equivalent of driving over 10,000 miles. The smog eating property is the icing on the cake with regard to this product because a tile roof is highly energy efficient. Um, and that because there's a combination of its high reflectivity and emissivity of the surface, its uh, thermal mass, being a heavier product, takes longer to heat up. And the construction is that it has an air gap between the tile and the roof. And we encourage airflow by having a vented, even vented ridge. So that what we're doing is we're making a sustainable product which is warranted by us with a limited lifetime warranty for the life of the structure. We're, uh, we're adding to that uh, all of the energy efficiency, which means your, your uh, CO2 footprint as you live in your home is reduced, and it's a, st a sustainable product, so that at the end of its life it can be reused, which is great news. You don't have to put this into landfill, uh, unlike a lot of the other roofing products that we see. Thanks, John, and thanks, Clark. And this is Bill Lurz from the International Builder Show.